Hey everyone, it's Ashley with Crafty as a Mother. Today I'll be showing you how to line a crocheted bag. I have this very cute daisy crocheted bag that I made. The pattern will be linked in the description if you want to make one yourself. Um, but I want to get this lined with some fabric to prevent stretching, but also give it a more finished, complete look. So make sure you have your bag ready. I'll set that aside. I have just some plain gray fabric that I picked up at Walmart. I believe this is half a yard. I started with a yard, but I only need half a yard for this project. So you'll need a pair of scissors, a pen or a pencil, some pins to hold everything down, an iron, and I don't have it here with me now, but you will need a ruler or something to measure your pocket for inside the bag. So let me pan over to the floor. I don't have a big enough desk to do this on my desk, so I'm just going to try and do this and show you um, on the floor here. I have my piece of fabric folded in half, and I'm going to line everything up, fold it and line all my corners, get everything even. And then I'm going to iron over all the wrinkles. I am then going to take my bag and uh, take the bottom of my bag and place it on the fold of my fabric and line that up to the edge as best as I can. Get my straps pulled up out of the way and just make sure everything is laid out nice and flat. And again, line it up at the bottom where the fold of the fabric is and line it up to the other edge there. And now you just take a pen or a pencil and you trace around your bag. I'm not going to trace where the straps are, I'm just going to leave an opening there and then I will cut straight across my fabric where the straps would be. Once I am done tracing the outline, I'm going to grab my scissors and just go right over the lines that I made and cut out the shape of my bag. Now I am just laying my fabric over my bag to make sure I didn't cut it too short. Um, just making sure I have a little bit of an overlap to account for my seams when I go to sew. Now I'm going to work on my pocket and I'm just going to use the scrap fabric that I have. You can make your pocket as big or as little as you'd like. I just like to use up my scraps as best as I can. So I did about an 8 inch long by a 4 inch wide pocket and I'm using my measurement tool here to get a straight edge. I forgot to mention too that my fabric is still folded so make sure that your fabric is folded in half when you measure your pocket.
Now I'm going to open this folded piece of fabric so that I can fold down the edges and give those an iron so everything has a nice, clean, smooth edge for our pocket. And I'm going to start lengthwise and just fold over. I eyeball this, honestly. I don't really give it a good measure. I just eyeball about how much I think my seam allowance should be. Um, I believe this is probably just a quarter of an inch. I try to, rule of thumb, go about the same width as the foot of my sewing machine. So again, I'm just going to iron over a fold on the edges uh, lengthwise first, and then I will do the width. Once your edges are folded and ironed, fold that piece back over and then iron over everything from the top and the back. And now I will open the fabric for my bag and place my pocket inside of the bag Use your best judgment on where you want to place your pocket in your bag. I decided to go for the middle of the bag towards the top. And again, I'm going to grab my uh, measuring tool here to make sure that I've got it somewhat in the middle of that um, V-shaped point there. And my pocket looks like it will fit some pens, maybe some crochet hooks if I want to take a project with me. Um, my phone will slide right in there. When placing your pocket in your bag, make sure that the folded part of this pocket is facing up and then the opening of your pocket is facing down. That way you have a nice clean edge for the top of your pocket. So here I am just grabbing my measuring tool here and making sure that I've lined my pocket up right in the middle of that V for my bag. Once everything is put in place and I like the way it looks, I'm going to grab my pins and pin this in place. Make sure you only sew along the sides and the bottom of your pocket. Don't sew over the top of your pocket because that will be the opening to the pocket. Taking this to my machine, I'm going to start on one side of my pocket. So here I am starting on the right side of my pocket. And then I'm just going to sew down the edge. And when I get to the bottom, I am going to stop and lift the foot of my sewing machine, spin my fabric around so I can sew along the bottom, and then do the same once I reach the other side. So here I am reaching the bottom of my pocket. I'm going to sew right down to the edge of the bottom, and then lift my foot spin my fabric so that I'm now lined up with the bottom of my pocket. Put my foot back down and sew along the bottom. And then when I reach the other side, I will do the same thing so that I can spin the fabric, line it up, and then sew along the other edge of my pocket. So now I have my pocket sewn on the inside of my bag and 
You can see that we left that opening so we can put our stuff in. Now I'm just going to grab my scissors and trim those um, little tails from the sewing. Now we are simply going to fold our lining, our fabric back in half. And you can iron over this again if you'd like, um, but I am just going to start pinning the edges of my bag into place, making sure everything is lined up correctly. I'm going to pin this edge here leave the opening of my bag and then pin down the other and the other edge of my bag. Taking my fabric to the machine, I'm going to sew along the edge of my bag lining. So I'm going to start at that folded end, so the bottom of this fabric piece. I'm going to just sew right along this edge and then I will stop sewing, making sure not to sew along the top of your bag because you don't want to accidentally Sew the top of your bag and close everything up. You want to leave an opening. So sew along uh, the right side and the left side of your bag lining. Now we have the bag lining ready to go. So grab your crocheted bag and we're going to slide our bag lining inside of our bag. This is probably the trickiest part of the whole process. Um, so open your lining. We don't have to turn anything inside out because our seams won't be showing from the inside of the bag. So don't worry about turning it inside out. Everything is just ready to slide right into the bag. So make sure you adjust it inside of your crocheted bag. Get everything lined up as best as you can. Fluff it out, shake it out if you need to. Um, I am going to start pinning everything down where my seams are. I just find this spot to be the best spot to start pinning. So I'm going to line it up with the um, little V, the dip in my crocheted bag and line up my seam with that. And then I'm just going to fold over, probably again a quarter of an inch, fold over to make my edge nice and neat and start pinning everything down. Like I said, this is the most tedious part, but I always start with the seam because this just seems like the best um, the best way, the best process that I've learned. Um, so yeah, I am going to just line up my seams with my crocheted bag, and then I'm going to fold over the top edge and line that up. I believe I line it up with about the second row of my crocheted bag. So the second row from the top of my crocheted bag, but you can line this up and adjust it to fit your bag any way you'd like. 
So just start pinning. This may be another tricky part, um, folding that piece where your strap meets the bag. I just simply fold it in a way um, to make sure that the top of this piece of fabric is um, flat and in line with where that strap meets the bag. And I pin everything down. Just keep in mind, you may need to adjust this part as you um, continue folding this fabric along your bag. And here I am just showing you um, the other side of the bag, so that opposite seam. I go right over to the other side and start pinning it down there. Um, I don't worry about doing those other dips where that seam isn't at just quite yet. I like to pin down the seams and then along the top towards the straps first um, because there is another trick to doing those dips if your bag is shaped the same way as mine. After adjusting and fluffing, making sure everything is lined up, I'm going to now start on those deep Vs. Um, so I've got my fabric here, and it's kind of like maybe an inch, an inch and a half above my bag. So I'm just going to take my scissors and cut about an inch down to where my bag is. So just cut a little slit down to the top of your bag and this will help create a perfect little um, seam allowance that you can fold over and pin down. So again, you just fold everything over like you've been doing, pin it down. And then this is where, like I said, you might have to go back to your strap here, unpin it a little bit and adjust your seam so that everything will line up. Then spin it around, flip it over so you're on the opposite side of that deep V again. And I'm going to do the same thing I did where I'm just going to cut a little slit here of the fabric to meet up with the top of my crocheted bag. And then you just continue to fold and pin. Take your bag to the sewing machine and I like to start at a um, the seam to my bag. So I try to line up the foot of my sewing machine to the seam, any seam, the right side or left side. And I just start there, I do a forward and back stitch, and then you just simply sew right along the edge of your bag lining and your crocheted bag. When you reach the strap, if you don't feel comfortable slowly turning your bag while you sew, you can always stop, lift the foot of your sewing machine, sew a little bit along that top piece, and then lift your foot again, line it back up with the top of your bag and then continue to sew that way. I'm not going to show too much footage of me sewing along the top of my bag just because this is the most, I think, 
tedious and slow part of the process. Um, just take your time sewing along the edge and everything will come together. Now you have successfully added a lining to your crocheted bag. You have a cute little pocket to hold your phone, pens, your keys, uh, crochet hooks if you're using this for crocheted projects, but everything is nice and seamed with pretty edges and it looks so clean and pretty. I just love this cute daisy bag. There's so many color combinations you can do, but I just chose simple gray just so it would like match all of my outfits. And I think I'm going to use this for on the go crochet projects and use this pocket for my hooks and stuff. There is plenty of space in here for balls of yarn or my pattern book to take along with me. And it just fits so nicely on my shoulder. So cute, perfect length. Um, I will leave the pattern linked in the description and it's so adjustable you can make the straps longer shorter however you like and the pattern is so easy to follow um, give the pattern a try I highly recommend it because this bag is super cute please like and subscribe to my channel if you've enjoyed this video and want to follow me for more